If I would have known that that would have happened that day, I would have never left the house. The teacher accused of crashing a car and killing her sister and then live streaming it in the aftermath spoke tonight from the Merced County Jail in a long letter and later a phone conversation with her sister stationed in Fresno. Abdulia Sanchez explains why she was on social media while she was driving. She also tries to explain why she kept streaming live, even as her sister died from her injuries. New tonight, CBS 13's Ed Crane joins us now from the newsroom with more. Ed. Well, the correspondence and interview with the CBS affiliate in Fresno, KGPE, is at once revealing and disturbing. In a four page letter written to its reporter, 18 year old Abdulia Sanchez expresses regret for her role in the fatal crash. <laughs> You may remember the story, not just a fatal crash, three teens in a fast-moving car, singing, dancing, and scariest of all, live streaming on Instagram. The teen behind the wheel fully participating, all while allegedly under the influence. 18-year-old Abdulia Sanchez was driving her 14-year-old sister Jacqueline and a friend from Fresno back home to Stockton. According to the CHP, she was legally impaired and 75 miles into the drive when the dangerous multitasking turned tragic. Sanchez lost control. The car swerved off the road and overturned in a field. Her 14-year-old sister and her girlfriend were thrown through a rear window, neither wearing seatbelts. Sanchez attempted to justify why she kept live streaming, capturing the graphic image of her dead sister and injured friend, writing, P.S. Because I knew I had more than 5,000 followers, I knew it was the only way my sister would get a decent burial. I would never expose my sister like that. I anticipated the public would donate money because my family isn't rich. Self-serving as that might sound, the young woman's court-appointed attorney says the family has raised $12,000 since that deadly crash last month. In a phone interview, the teen facing DUI and manslaughter charges claims driving while streaming was nothing new. We do it all the time. We do it all the time. Like, trust me, like, it's like a reflex. Like, I haven't crashed, you know? Until last month. Sanchez adds in the letter that she wants to raise awareness of the dangers of using social media while driving. She wants to honor her sister with a statue in a Stockton park and perhaps a song in her memory and wants to open a boxing gym with her dad. Well, those teen dreams may be deferred for a while. Abdulia Sanchez has entered not guilty pleas to six counts of felony vehicular manslaughter and drunken driving and faces more than a dozen years in prison. If convicted on all counts, her next court appearance will come Friday morning. Thank Boy, you. how troubling. I mean, to hear her say we do it all the time. It really Deeply is. Honestly. Troubling. Wow. All right, Ed, thanks very much. A trial date has been.